You may not know this, but you may have had premonitions about this. And I'm going to explain this to you so it can help you manifest much simpler into your life. If you're having any issues with manifestation and after understanding what I'm about to tell you in this video, you're going to excel and you're going to 10X your manifestations and things and your life's gonna completely change. And you're going to develop yourself into a new state of consciousness and everything that you consent to being true of your world is going to change. So you will be automatically manifesting an entirely new life by understanding this concept. And I'm going to explain it thoroughly so you understand and you actually believe it because it really can't be argued at this point. You are asleep right now. You're actually dreaming. You're in a condensed dream right now. You are asleep. And it's very, and I'm going to use the example of your sleep at night. And I'm going to explain this in a way to where you can understand it. That way you can start waking up inside of this dream so you can start manifesting at super high levels. Last, last night when you went to sleep or the last time that you remembered having a dream and you woke up in the morning and you said, wait a minute, and you remembered your dream, right? And you, then there were people, there were places and there were things within your dream. And while you were dreaming, you thought that those people and those things and those places that you experienced within that dream was real. You thought that all of that was actually like a reality while you were in your dream. You may have even dreamt it and while you were dreaming it, you thought it was real. But when you woke up, you realized you were like, wait a minute, okay, that's not real. Let me ask you a question so you can understand this. Was anything within that dream separate from your mind or outside of your own consciousness or out of your own mind? After you wake up, you look back at your dream and you're like, wait a minute, okay, I thought that those people, places and things were separate to myself. There was something that existed outside of my own mind. But when you woke up, you realized that it was just a dream. And have you ever, have you ever had a dream to where you were frightened or scared or something was happening or something great was happening? And you woke up and you were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I was dreaming the whole time. And you had that just epiphany when you woke up and you were like, oh my gosh, I was dreaming the whole time. I wish I would have known that while I was dreaming. What you're living in right now, currently watching this video with me is exactly the same thing. It's just a more of a dense version of the same sort of dream. You are actually asleep right now. And just by understanding and listening to this video and understanding what I'm telling you right now, it's going to absolutely change what you consent to being true of your world. Because when you wake up from this dream and when you start awakening within the dream and realize that you're dreaming, then you will automatically start manifesting different things because your subconscious mind no longer needs an explanation or a logical reason to create things because it's just a dream. There doesn't need to be. You don't need, there doesn't need to be a how, a if, a when, a why. None of these things need to occur with you now because what you consent to being true of your world has completely and utterly changed. So I want you to go into meditation daily with this or rewatch this video, send this video to anyone that you, you want to understand within your own dream, that's all you're doing is you're sending in this information to assist you in waking up, but you're also assisting them in waking up, but there's no one outside of your current mind. I'm, I'm within your own mind right now. I am part of your dream. I am actually contained within your own mind and you have created this transaction or this, um, this video that you're watching right now because you're trying to wake up. So you have created this video in order to assist with that, your higher self, now is always trying to wake up. It's always trying to show you signs. It's always trying to show you glitches within the matrix to see if you're paying attention the way you can wake up. But the reason why I wanna tell you this is because this will assist with your manifestation abilities. You will start automatically manifesting a much better life and you're actually eliminating your analytical mind, which Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about a lot and he's right, he's absolutely right. The analytical mind is the thing, it's, it, it's, the con it's the inner dialogue, the conscious talk as you're going to sleep or throughout the day that's telling you certain things. 
like when you're doing affirmations or you're, you're trying to create something or visualize something or affirm something and, and in the back of your mind you're like no you can't have that because this happened to you when you were a child no you can't have that because or you're not good enough or it's telling you certain things that you have to do that no if 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 you could do that, then everybody could do that. If you were going to be rich, then everybody could be rich. You can't do that. It's not that easy. This has got to be hard. This has got to be hard. This has got to be hard. All these, the analytical mind is telling you all these things. But when you start to start to believe and understand that you're living in a, in a simulation or a dream, a dream state, you start to unlock and you start to lower the volume of that analytical mind that's telling you that you that you need a logical sequence of events for things to happen to you. You can just, you can be a lucky person, that's fine. You can live a life that you wanna live, and that's fine. You should be able to. There shouldn't be any constraints to that or you needing to do something very specific and different and da da da, da you know, that doesn't need to happen. And when you start to realize that you're living, you're, you're asleep right now, you're actually living in a dream, and, you can, and when you realize that you'll start to wake up, like right now you're waking up as I'm telling you this, you're, you're peeling more layers of consciousness off and starting to wake up and realize this. This is a dream. What he's saying is making sense. It's the same as when you go to sleep at night. When you wake up, you're like, oh my gosh, I was dreaming the whole time. You're gonna do the exact same thing when you wake up back as God. You're a particle of God now, asleep. We're all sleeping, but it's just one being. We're all asleep in separate individual bodies, but we're all contained within the same mind of God. And a lot of people don't understand this. And as you start to develop this and you start understanding quantum physics, it all makes perfect sense. And that's why visualizing specific things and using your imagination, like as you go to sleep at night, you're climbing the ladder to sleep. Climbing the ladder to sleep. You're, you're, you're visualizing climbing the ladder to sleep. And as you fall asleep for three nights climbing a ladder, all of a sudden you start seeing ladders everywhere and you're forced to climb one. I've done this on multiple occasions. Why, how could this be a solid reality where there needs to be logical things to happen if that, if you can, if you can create something like that, if you can fall asleep counting something or fall asleep doing something and all of a sudden you see it everywhere in your reality. How it, it cannot be a solid reality. You are living in a simulation. You're li you are in, literally in a dream state right now. So enjoy your life. Start manifesting everything that you desire and start imagining what you want to see and what you want to have in your life. What are you imagining? That's what's controlling your dream right now. Everything is contained within your own, your own mind. So start using it. Start changing it. If you wanna start seeing certain things in your world, start seeing them in your own, your own imagination first. Start picturing different things in your own mind if you wanna start seeing more of that. You wanna start seeing beautiful yachts in your life, beautiful houses, beautiful cars, start imagining. Don't just start looking at them in the three-dimensional world. You can do that, that's cool. But also, start imagining these things. Start seeing them in your own imagination, intentionally putting yourself in situations and seeing certain things like cars, houses, people, the life that you want to live, start seeing this stuff in your imagination and the, your dream state will create that because it's an illusion. Everything is contained within your own mind being projected from inside of you out. So whatever you want to start seeing in your life, start imagining it, start doing it before you go to sleep and start doing it throughout the day. And if, and if there's any issues in your life, start imagining yourself, start imagining you doing things that the simulation is telling you that you can't do. For example, if, if there's something that's hindering you right now, like just for an example, like you had an injury of some kind where um, you had a sprained ankle or you couldn't walk properly, start going, or the doctor tell you you're never gonna walk again properly. Start going into your imagination throughout the day and as you go to sleep at night, running, jumping, skipping, working out at the gym, doing sprints, doing all these different things in your own imagination and something will happen in your world where that, where your injury is going to go away. There's going to be some, there's going to be some strange reason why all of a sudden your, your legs now work properly and you're able to do the things you imagine yourself doing. And there'll be a very good reason why that happened. There'll be a very good reason why that happened. 
And you will see that happening to you when you start imagining this. So whatever is go whatever issues you have in your life or whatever the simulation is keeping you from doing right now, start doing those things in your imagination. Start doing them. Start driving the car of your dreams in your imagination. When you're driving your car, imagine it's the car of your dreams. Hold your attention on that thing in the present moment that it's not actually the car you're driving. It's the car that you wanna be driving. Or when you're in your house, it's not the house you wanna be living in. Start imagining that it is the house that you wanna be living in. Even in the relationship, if you're in a relationship that you don't want, start imagining that that relationship is what you want it to be. And it will reflect back that change because you're in a dream state right now. And whatever your, your inner dialogue and your imagination is doing is what you're seeing, is what you're creating into your reality. So start changing that today and start imagining all the things that you want to have in your world. This is a form of prayer. Prayer is the secret, okay? Prayer is the art of believing, and that's why it's called an art. Because it may take a little bit of repetition until you master it. But you'll, you can start seeing results almost instantly from this. So start imagining everything that you want to have and be and see in your world and you'll start to see those things even at first if you're just um, say you're imagining hundred dollar bills maybe those hundred dollar bills won't be yours they'll be somebody else's but you'll start seeing them in your world and you'll start collecting more ownership of this and once you feel that you're the person that should have that money in your own imagination then the money will be yours it will be yours but start imagining things. Start using your imagination. You are asleep right now. You are dreaming right now. And one day you will wake up within this dream and you will know that you're God. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one.